是一副。Hi YouTube. Hi. So I'm Nate. I'm Ashley. Uh, this is Hippie View Adventures. Um, sorry, it's been a while since we've posted anything. I actually had uh, back surgery back in July. Uh, actually, it was July seventh. Yeah. So we took a little bit of time off while he was recovering and doing therapy and things like that. So we're finally getting back in the swing of things. Mm -hmm. um, we went to uh, the international market called Jungle Gems here in Cincinnati and we picked up some British snacks. Uh, so we got some more. We have some repeaters on here, but they were so good the last time I, I had to get them again. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Flamin' Hot Monster Munch, which we both really liked these last time. Yeah. And since everybody was complaining that I didn't do a certain thing with this snack last time. Oh yeah, it. there's a special way you're supposed to eat these apparently. So I got hula hoops and these are the cheese and onion ones and I know what I gotta do now. So Oh yeah, because is it similar to like um Bugles? Bugles where you have yeah. to eat them a certain you, you way. Gotta put them on your um we got some Walker's um shortbreads. I love shortbread cookies and she, this sounded amazing. The last time we got something similar to these, she crushed them. Like Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's something about like light and airy cookies and all about it. Mm -hmm. um, we got another Galaxy bar. The last time I think we just had like the milk chocolate. This one's a smooth caramel, so. Yep, yep. And then we got this thing called a picnic, which I know she's probably not going to dig it too much. Uh, mainly because I see raisins on it, and I know she doesn't really like raisins, but I love raisins. It's like a trail mix candy bar. Yeah. And then we got something called a curly whirly. I thought it was like a taffy thing, and I know how much you love taffy, so yeah. I'm taking a shot. Uh, I mean, it's bendy like taffy, so we'll see. And then the heaviest snack. <laughs> I, I I don't know that I've ever this had... This is called a Turkish Delight. I, I, I've had a Turkish Delight before, but not like this. Yeah, I would say the one time I had it, it didn't look like that, and it was mm -mm. not good. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really curious, but yeah, um, maybe I'll do the Monster Munch last since I've, we are... We've already had it, <laughs> but I will tell you, I was telling Nate last night, it took everything in me not to bust those open last night after we got <laughs> them in the store, because they're so good, and like, I, I, my palate's changed a little bit, and I'm starting to like, hype, like hot stuff more, and I was like, these weren't even that spicy, they're delicious. <laughs> so, what do you want to start off with there, um, sugar? Let's try this, whatever this The taffy curly, thing is. whirly is thing? It, is it a Cadbury as well, the brand? Yeah. yeah, that's a Cadbury. So is, is Cadbury only chocolate? I, I don't know. This oh, is, it look, it's a ooh. little like chocolate thingy. I know that's really descriptive. Ooh, this seems crazy looking. Wow. So ooh. this is what it looks like, in case people don't know. It's a swirly early. It is a swirly early. I wonder if it's like a filling. I'm so curious. Is it caramel? Ooh. That. That is delicious. I was worried because I know you're not a huge caramel guy. Mm. <laughs> I love chocolate and caramel. Mm -hmm. No, no, put down. <clears throat> That's really good. Mm. <laughs> not taffy, but that still delicious. Banging. It's like a caramel chocolate taffy. Like, mm -hmm. It's just like they ribboned out caramel and then ran it through chocolate. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I picked the first one. You oh. Um, well, I gotta redeem myself. <laughs> so, let me get in here. <laughs> mm. Mm. Those are nice. Yeah, they are. I didn't think cheese and onion sounded very good at first, but oh no, okay. I like that. Man. Oh, they're cooked in sunflower oil. Oh, cool. The one thing I haven't been able to find at our international market, because this, this is our third British video, I think, mm -hmm. is the thing that Kate and Chris sent us on our first box. I can't find them anywhere, but what are they called? What are those? Are they squishies? Squishies. Oh my god. There's something about the texture of that candy that I cannot get out of my brain. And every time we go to Jungle Gyms, I'm hopeful that they have it and they don't. It's so Speaking bad. of Chris and Kate, hi Charlie. Hi. They had a baby boy. 
You know, he's so cute. He is just absolutely he's precious. Like a doll baby. His name is Nate. Uh, they thought it fitting to name him after me and, and Chris's father. So, hi, Nate. Hello. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're so happy to have that little baby in the world, mm -hmm. and so glad that him and and Kate are happy and healthy, and you know, getting you know stronger every day. So, yeah, yeah it's pretty awesome. Our next goal is to plan a trip to. England. We already got our passport stuff, and we're filling it out, and we're getting ready to send it in and pay for all the stuff and deal with that. So who knows? Yeah. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I say soon, and it'd probably be like a few months, but anyway. It'd be a little while, but um, yeah. Hmm. Let's try the Turkish delight. Okay. So there again, there's the packaging. Yep. Little Turkish delight thing here. Charlie's out I'm there sorry. going crazy. If <laughs> we... you can hear our cat in the background, Charlie does not like not being able to get to Ashley. Yeah, so I apologize if you can hear her crying in the background. She just she wants in here. There's just too much going on Man. here. She would steal the show. That's so what it is. So there is the delight. It looks dense. It is dense. Like, hey, stop scratching at the daggone door. <laughs> I don't think you're going to like it. It doesn't smell good. Take a small bite. You won't like the inside. I don't even want to chew it. What is that? <laughs> it's like boba jelly. Kinda, I guess, yeah. I'm not a fan of that. I need to get that taste out. Sorry. Ew. Okay. Um. I chose last. Or you chose last. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I was going to go for those anyway, so... <laughs> So these are shortbreads, but they're chocolate and caramel. They're salted caramel and milk chocolate, milk chocolate chunks. Milk chocolate. They look really nice, so mm -hmm. there's the packaging on those. I don't know what it is about shortbreads. I just think I just love the texture and the it's, flavor. Yeah. They're a nice little biscuit. Yeah. Do you want to share one instead of... You don't eat a lot of cookies, so yeah, let's just... Do you want the whole thing? Mm-mm. That's... That is really good. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Grace would like those. I'll save you some. <laughs> That's delicious! Mm-hmm. Those are all you, baby. Oh, yeah. They're really good. I'm just not big on cookies. Mm -hmm. They have to be done a certain way for you to like them. Yeah. So, like, um, who is it? Is it uh, Chips Ahoy makes a soft, soft batch. batch cookie, and it's a really, like, soft, almost chewy texture to it. It's almost like eating barely cooked cookie dough, like, and I love it. I think it's I think it's the best. And I like... And she likes crunchy. almost... She likes... If she cooks cookies, if they're not almost browned on the bottom, she doesn't really care for them. I like... She likes them really crunchy. I like that little hint of burnt flavor on them. <laughs> <laughs> like I, like I can't say little... anything, because I actually honestly enjoy a little bit of burnt popcorn taste. Like, the, like mm, it's so good. Like, that burnt, like, salty with the uh, buttery... <laughs> well, like, you can attest to this if I get a bag of, like... I don't want to go on a tangent, but if I get a bag of pretzels, I'm like sifting through for the burnt ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, I just like the way it tastes. Mm -hmm. Um, why don't you try this? The picnic? Yeah, I'm probably not going to try it just because I, I really don't like raisins, but... You have to at least take a bite. Are there or walnuts Or you're going to take it? a bite out of my next video. Are there walnuts in it? That is a good question. By the way, she's allergic to walnuts. Oh yeah, so if you please, if you send us anything, just make sure you check. Mm, peanuts, wheat, milk, egg, 
soy. I do not see anything about walnuts. So, there again, there's the picnic. When I first saw it, I was like, yeah, it looks like a Babe Ruth. Yeah, I can see that. Gosh, it feels so nice to be back in here. We haven't, I like, know. I literally have not been in here in this room in, like, two months. I have. I've been in here adding and taking away and trying to do things. But for me, it's just kind of, because I had back surgery, it's kind of getting up and moving and doing It gave him something things. to do while he yeah. was off. But it's so nice to be back in here with our little our little stuffed animals and all of our decorations. Ooh. Nate's done a lot with the room. Ooh. So there's how it looks. Mm. So it's nice to be back. It's like a whatchamacallit, but with extra stuff. Okay, it doesn't suck. That is really good. I like that a lot. It's like a mesh between like several different candy yeah, bars. But the fruitiness mm -hmm. takes away some of the sweetness of the chocolate. It, oh, it that's so good. Like It literally to me tastes like a, a, a meshing of a bunch of different candy bars. It's like a granola bar with chocolate and some fruit. Like a payday yeah. mixed with the Babe Ruth, mixed with um, those trail mix. bars. It's trail mix in a candy bar. Yeah, that's really nice. That is killer. So we're going to try the, the Galaxy Bar. Mm-hmm. Last time we had a Galaxy Bar, it was really good. Yeah, the milk chocolate was nice. Actually, mm -hmm. I, I think Kalen, we ended up giving him the leftovers. Yep, one. yep. He finished it off for us. Oh, it's two little um, thingies. Yeah, I told you they're like Twixies. Do you want to split that or do you want the whole thing? No, I don't want the whole thing. Ooh. My cat sounds so pitiful. Charlie. I'll be with you in a minute. So I have an Instagram page. I do photography. So that's Hippie View Photography um, on Instagram. I'll actually put a link in the description down below. If you want to go there and follow that. I post a lot of pictures of nature, animals, um, I do a lot of long exposure photography. Um, grab that real fast. If you can. <laughs> Figure it out. So, this is one of my pictures I did. Uh, this, um, is, this is long exposure. A um, local uh, real estate shop, actually, mm -hmm. um, here in our town, was doing a like artist spotlight. Uh, was it the month of July or the month of June? It was June. June, and they chose to feature Nate. Mm -hmm. So what they did was they we print up a bunch of his stuff, and they had it hanging in their windows for an entire month. So um, we're hoping that gives us some good traction, and you know he left a lot of business cards there. So there was that. Um, I know what I was going to ask. Speaking of Charlie, um, Nate keeps trying to tell me that I should create an Instagram page for our kitty cats. Just kitty cats. Our girls are out of control and they're always doing like really cute stuff. And Obnoxious I've things. I've noticed that like my Instagram feed has a lot of like cat videos, so I'm kind of on the fence about it, but I'd love to get some input if it'd be a good idea to start my own Instagram page for my kitty. I think she should, because let's be honest, who doesn't like seeing kitty cats? And they're so silly and they're so yeah, cute. They are. Um, Charlie, stop stop it. <laughs> okay, we have one more snack. Mm -hmm. That's not really a, a try, but <laughs> It Listen, was so these, good. These little monster munches are amazing. Y'all so, know I talk about texture all the time. There is the monster munch they for have those a, who may not have seen them before. They have a great crunch. I love it. Man, that that like <laughs> yeast I, they use on I this. was actually nervous when they sent us those because I was like, I'm not big on spice, but they were really good. And I love the um the steak chips that they sent mm -hmm. us. Those were delicious. Oh, so good. Too much no cheese now. They just got the perfect amount of spice. So I have another question for you guys. For my for our subscribers on here. People who watch this and end up following and subscribing and stuff like that. Would you rather be called adventurers? Or would you rather us call you hippies? Because I'm thinking about starting the video off with going, you know, kind of like how we start this. But going like, hey guys... I'm Nate, and then she would go, this is that, I'm Ashley, and I would say, uh, you know, welcome adventurers to another episode of us trying or us doing an adventure somewhere, whatever it might be that we're doing. Welcome adventurers or welcome hippies? Yeah. So, what would you rather be called? Would you rather be adventurers or would you rather be hippies? Because either way, doesn't matter to us. Yeah, I like it. I kind of yeah. like, 
I like both, so maybe yeah. we just need a tiebreaker. Chris actually said that he liked the intro where I said, you know, um, hey YouTube, welcome to our channel. I'm Nate, and this is Ashley, and blah, 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 <laughs> whatever it might be that we're doing. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> not to that light was hitting me you know it's it's whatever so whatever you guys want to be called either it be hippies adventurers yeah we'll we'll call you those um, things and obviously as always send us suggestions on things you want us to try obviously we're trying to get back in the groove so we need to get back in the habit of looking for stuff so suggestions please send them nate has a video coming up i'm not gonna say what it is Oh, you can you can tell them. No, no, no. No, you can tell them. Are you sure? Yeah. So it's gonna be kind of a Halloweeny kind of video. Um, Nate and I picked up some crickets at the store. Uh, but... Crickets and I got a scorpion to eat. Yes. So like to me, this is nothing new. Like I've eaten roasted scorpions. I've had roasted crickets. I've had all kinds of weird foods living out in Arizona and doing like survival training when I was in the military. So yeah. Was... So he he's gonna go ahead and do that. I am just a pretty spectator. <laughs> um, I did tell him that my hard limit is it's okay if he wants to eat that stuff, but there is no way he's bringing in one of those tarantulas into this house. Dead I, or alive, I, I won't bring it in. But if people send us them, there's no way I can stop it if I don't know what's in the box. I I will put it in the garbage. <laughs> Don't waste your money, please. I will pitch it. <laughs> uh, I can't. No. She won't have time to pitch it because I'll rip it out of the package and try to eat it before she has time to react to it. Uh, if anybody watches Brandon Ferris, he did one the other day with a giant tarantula and I I was like getting goosebumps. Like, uh. um, but yeah, so we're going to do kind of like a Halloween-y kind of episode and have him eat the, the bugs. So that will be coming soon. Um, is there anything else that I'm forgetting? I um. don't think so this was a quick one but it was still fun and mm -hmm. honestly if it hadn't been for kate and chris i would have never known that these were so yummy <laughs> and that they have them here in cincinnati and i don't have to like depend on you guys mailing them to us and spending a fortune but here's the thing if you guys do want to send us things squishies go go follow me on instagram like i said i'll have a, a link in the description to that page send me a message on there Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'll see about being able to send us something and, and us trying it on, on, on here. Um, yep. Like I said, we're going to set up a, a, a P.O. box soon. So that way we don't have to give out our home address to people. Yeah. Um, oh, and we're also going to try and do some more adventure videos. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to start trying to hit up some trails here in the area and doing some nature hikes. Um, as the weather's starting to change and cool off, it'll be really nice. So we live in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. And Hamilton County, which is kind of close to where we live, has a bunch of different nature reserves and hiking trails and things like that. And they actually have this um, it's like a form. Checklist. It's like a checklist. And it has all these different trails on it. And they all range from like a half mile to just under two miles so nothing really long nothing really strenuous mm -hmm. some parks have multiple trails that you can do in one day and you've walked like only three miles so we're going to start doing that where we go on a weekend and hit up a couple of trails and take i'll do be doing nature photography as i'm walking and filming and then uh, ashley actually has a project where she does yoga in nature uh, it's called yogas for all bodies and it's to help kind of show that it doesn't matter about body type or size. It doesn't matter. You can get out and do yoga and be proud of what you can and can't do in life. So, um, yeah, so that's going to be a, another thing we're doing. So that's going to be more of the adventure side of it. But we do want to keep doing try videos and we do want to keep doing like unboxing type stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, stay tuned. We're going to have some more content. I am going to get back on the ball with my yoga project. So hopefully... I will have some confidence to be able to show that to you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess other than that, I think we're good. Yeah. So until next time, be happy. Stay hippie. Bye.